Good morning. You're welcome. Second Peter 1 20, 21. Listen. Knowing this first, mm. that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. Mm. For prophecy never came by the will of man, mm -hmm. but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. My name is Dr. Maurice Wekesa. That elephant you dream, the biggest problem in your house, in your family house, where you were born. It is true what you are saying, man because of God. Recently, I dreamed that an elephant was actually chasing me. Then I went into the, the house and the elephant was still chasing me in the house. Sometimes I dream that I'm, I'm where I was when I was a very small boy. And I wonder why am I still dreaming that I'm in where I was and we moved from there. It all happened when you were five years to your family, to the relationship of the mother and the father. It true. all happened five years. True, true man of God. They didn't want her to be married in that family. It's a very true man of God. The relative of the family rose against your mom. Very true. The relatives actually rose up against my mother. And uh, they didn't want her to leave. Very true man of God. And they brought something which diseased the stomach of your mom. When I was five years old, my mother felt very sick. She was admitted to hospital. The stomach was so swollen. She was moved to so many hospitals, but she could not heal. Very true, very it true. It was the Indian doctor who gave her the medicine which brought about this to birth. Very true, man of God. They got this man who gave us some medicine to put on the stomach, and the stomach burst. Even now, the problem is still there. It is not finished. But right now, she's very sick. She cannot even walk. Uh, she's paralyzed the legs. No, 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 I'll give you the living water. That land was big. It, it is true, man of God. And they brought people who are not supposed to get any portion. They squatted on the land. It is very true. The land belonged to our great-grandfather. So they didn't want us to live in that land. So when I grew up, I, I moved out and bought my own land. Because there was just war, it was a war zone. But I remind you, the man called Wegulo. Yes, I know the man was one of my grandfathers. <laughs> Wegulo. Man of God, what you said is true. On the side of my mom, that the ones who were owning that huge chunk of land where we were living. By the blood of Jesus. There is going on for Dr. Morris Wekesa from Kenya. In the name. Be restored in Jesus. Holy. Now you're going to shine. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to shine. There's land near the airport. Th that's why I've bought land right now. Man of God, what you said is true. I've... Uh, Two lands near the airport, one is developed, one is not developed. All these are developments. You've been looking for the foreigners to work with. They have come. Yay! Things have turned right for you. All these are buildings. Good. It is well with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your prosperity. It's everlasting God who remembers his people. But there is a woman you shouldn't forget. The name starts with Nam. Namukuru. You have a lot of money. Never forget this woman and her children because she took you as a child and wished you all the best. What you are saying is true, man of God. Namkuri is an aunt of mine, even when I was small. She took me to school, to high school. She always came to see me, even if she had nothing, but just to encourage me and to say, you'll make it. Are you wondering? <laughs>
My name is Pastor Savasa from South Africa. Uh, Prophet, I'm sitting wondering, is this the same child of God like me? What is different? <laughs> Man of God, <laughs> this can only be God. But my question is one. I'm serving the same God. What is happening? God, I want to share the same place. Jesus, my name. And God must increase you. I come from South Africa because the anointing that God has given to you. 19, 2, 3, 4 of Acts of Apostles. And it happened while Apollos was at Corinth that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus and finding some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they say to him, We have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, Into what then were you baptized? So they said, Into John's baptism. When the Holy Spirit is around, you are not the one doing A, B, C, D, but you are just a witness. But a question, when did you wait in Jerusalem? How many days did you wait in Jerusalem? How did you receive the word of God from the preacher man? How did you separate from him? Because of misunderstanding. What is the origin of your gospel? The person of the enemy is my father. You're your father? My father is a pastor in South Africa. Uh -huh. But uh, when I grow up, the church that we were raised in, they didn't believe in prophecy and the miracles, the way how God is using other people. And after being baptized and ordained, I went and started a ministry. You were baptized to enter into that, what they were believing in. They were not believing in miracle, no wonder, no, no Holy Spirit. Here you are, you want to be like a candy. Next to me is my wife. Men of God, I saw in the vision, in my heart I was crying, God, I want you to locate me. I want to be baptized by the Holy Spirit. And you came and, and, uh, and picked me up. You said, I must, I must come stand next to you. You wanted to impart me, but your way. You take off the top jacket. It's like you wanted to give me a blouse. You unbutton the first button. As you started to unbutton, uh, Prophet T.P. Joshua appeared. And then he said, stop. Who said you must do that? His anointing is different. And then you put the jacket back like this. And uh, He said, I want to be like you. But look at it. He was already told, no, he has another. Another what? I have a different calling. Prophet T.B. Joshua said what? You must, you must stop. Just do as the Holy Spirit is telling you what to do. But what did I say? You say that he has a different calling. He has a different father. But he too, he knows in the dream that I was stopped from giving him anything because he has a different father. This is what the Bible says, 2 Peter 1, 20, 21. Listen. Knowing this first, mm. that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation, mm. for prophecy never came by the will of man, mm -hmm. but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. They spoke as they were moved by... So when he came before me, I said, no, sir, you have a different calling. You have a different origin. Once upon a time, there was a medium young pastor. He was a preacher man, preaching too much. But he got a problem with his wife. 
His relationship was no good. Let's start from that one. Sometimes he could put on a gown. I can't remember. He was on fire preaching. Sometimes he could come to the small town and preach near the tree. So brilliant. At 17 years, you met this pastor. Man of God, can you enlighten me? It is well. It is well. My soul. With my soul. It is well. It is well. This is the man who gave you the gospel of Jesus, different from your father. Now, what you are saying, man of God, I remember very long time ago, I was doing grade 12. And there was a crusade in an open area. At the end, this is the, that this is the last road of our street. And uh, they make a, a tent outside. This area was not developed, but there, this, this, there were these houses that are, st are like this. And uh, I was having a problem of bleeding. And uh, I went there because I heard there were people who are doing crusade. I went there. The pastor is short. It's like him. I like the way he was preaching. I was 17 at that time. <laughs> you are miles and miles away from Uganda. You are in Venda, in South Africa. And we are talking about things that happen 20... 20 something years ago because you said when I was 17 years I was still a young boy uh -huh. and the man of God you are talking about when he says like a dynamite it's true he was very strong that man of God yes. I preach like that fire on YouTube right now if I open my video I preach fire Have you seen the gown? Have you seen the gown? Have you seen the gown I talked about? You are speaking about me. I have a problem with my wife. This is why I'm here. I want to confirm another detail. As I was coming here, I met a man, and he told me when he came to my city, he was young. I am the one who took him and began to teach him the word of God. I didn't recognize him. You have told him that that man is the one who talked to him about Jesus. So I met this man from Kenya. Uh -huh. Come, come. He told me that I am the one who took him and taught him the word of God. And now he is a pastor. When he came, he was a young man, but now he is a pastor. He has a church. Let's clap for Jesus. How can this story come together? And the man he preached to is here. The story I'm talking about, it is true to their side, it is true to his side. What a God we serve. Sometimes you may think that these things are prearranged. Until when it comes to you, is when you know, eh, it is true. The prophet, the man is talking about, had a problem with his wife. The same man is standing, has a problem with his wife. <laughs> For you, it is a competition. That already place had four families. Yes, man of God. Once upon a time, your family lived in a place. That place, the road going there was not good. Yes. And uh, the family was nearly together. Yes. 
This is the house, this is the house, this is the house, this is the house. Yes. Of the big man. Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, I confirm. They, they had the cows. Yes. Yes. This big man, that is where the argument, misunderstandings came from. Yes, sir. This marry and remarry, this is the issue. Yes, sir. This what is in your heart. Yes, sir. The competition was from this family. Yes, sir. You are trying your level best to see that you are above them. Yes. Because they don't even believe you. Yes, they don't believe in me. Your father left them and went and got his place. Yes. Built his house yes. with another three houses. Yes. Man of God, what you have said is very true. One, this is a road to go to our home. It is very bad. Even to go there with a car is a problem. And then uh, we had cows. We had cows. So this one, the man that you are, you are speaking about, the one that uh, you have said that he caused the battle, that is exactly what happened. Because my father moved. Now he is living alone, and my mom is living alone. He went with my three sisters, and uh, me and my brother and another sister, we were a bit older, so we went our separate ways. So the family right now, no one is there in our home right now. No one is there. Everyone in their family, there have been those divorces. So there is a lot of uh, a battle when it comes to marriages. And the problem that brought me here is that I'm having a, a problem with my wife. And it is affecting the ministry because on January 7th, I was waiting for her to come to church. So I went to service. She did not come. So I thought maybe she's coming. I sent someone home to go and pick her. They would not find her. So she had gone back to their home. I went there in the evening. They would not like to see me. Uh, so I went back uh, to my house. Uh, and then after one month, she, she switched off her phone. She changed the line. Right now, I even don't know where she is. Because of the tall man, richer than you. Yes. And he has vehicle. Yes. Yes, sir. This is your competitor to the woman. Yes. This tall man took your wife. What the man of God you are saying is true. On, uh, on 19th of, uh, of uh, November was my wife's birthday. So something happened. There is a man from... Uh, He's a, a, a family friend to her mother. The tall I, one? Yes, the tall man. So I sent her to go to greet her mother. So when she came back, I came to realize that something uh, fish was happening. I saw some love messages from that man, the tall man. I even have the video of the tall man in my phone. I listed them. Okay, listed the video. I arrested him in my house. He had come to see my wife. Watch the screen of television, brethren. Apostle Ezra is showing us this video of the tall man whom the man of God talks about in the prophecy. I have not told anyone. No one knows. It's only me. And he has a vehicle, as you have said. Where is the girl, Christine? Christina. Christina is a, is a member in the church. What you have said is true because uh, after she left, this Christina is a doctor. And uh, I've been having confusion because my wife said that she's not coming back. I've tried all I can and it failed. Now, this Christina you're talking about, she's close to me. I've been having another thought because I don't know if she will come back or I should continue. My name is Mariana Kaona, I'm from South Africa, I was born in Zambia. What kind of closeness are you talking about? Sorry. <laughs> I was so much heartbroken, so we have been sharing with her, because as a man of God, I don't have someone to share with. Is Kristen married? No. So you've already found the solution then? Yes, that's, that's true. 
My name is Mehlule Moyo. I am a Zimbabwean living in South Africa. Men of God, as you are giving the prophecy, it is not for him only. This prophecy is also for me. This tall man also, Father. So as you are giving that prophecy, I was saying prophet is also talking to me because of this tall man also. Very well known man, but I leave it to rest. He took your wife. Man of God, he did. My name is Hawa Namba from Kenya. Mm. I'm really amazed. I'm also touched. Pastor Amos Kali from Kenya. Anger. What the man of God is saying is true. I have the spirit of anger. Even my mom is seated somewhere there. She can confirm it. I can get angry and then I will quarrel and I'm a pastor. So sometimes I wonder, what is this thing? What is this spirit? Even my mom, sometimes we quarrel with her, with my what brothers. Your mom? Yeah, she's my mom. We are hate. I'm the 50 born. The This is the house of my grandfather, and uh, these are trees. Mm -hmm. These trees are very big, but I'm the one who cut them down. And uh, here we have graves of uh, my grandfather, he's somewhere here, my two hands, and uh, I think this one is for our uncle, and our grandmom is somewhere here. Where the anger came from, when your mom was pregnant, she knows what happened. She can tell us. My name is Alidia Mkamburi. I come from Kenya. I remember very well when I had the pregnancy of this child. We were in the same family of our father. My father was practicing witchcraft. So we were involved and put inside witchcraft. You did not bring the problem. They brought the problem. <laughs> sure. In the name of Jesus, anger, go. Pastor Amos from Kenya. Go and never come back again. Being delivered from the spirit of anger. Father is your son, have mercy upon him. Take away anger forever in Jesus' holy name. Go and do your church. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me, and thank you, Jesus, for setting my family free. The mom, lady, lady, the man, the man. Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. As the mother to Pastor Amos receiving deliverance. You are free. Thank you, Jesus. The family issue put you in dilemma. My name is Elvis Fabisa. Mm. I'm working in Zambia, but I come from Zimbabwe. Negotiate with your wife. Yes. You are always... Prophet, what you're saying is true. I'm not in good uh, relationship with my wife, though we got kids and we have grown up now. My wife listens too much to my father, better than me. This dark woman, uh, that the one we are talking about now? A dark woman, yeah. that's my wife. I was arguing with my wife to say, if I go there, I don't think I'll have an opportunity to talk to the, to the prophet. But in my spirit, I could feel definitely this man will give me a mic to talk to him. And to me, it's a wonder. It's a wonder. I don't know how I should explain. I am dreaming right now to be seeing I'm talking to the man of God, Prophet Kakande. It's not real to me. Your father consults the dead. So the dead are your, your, your now companions. Everything you touch must collapse. This father of mine, he plays with the spirits, goes to the graves, and he talks to, to, to doing his whatever tobacco thing on the graves, and he speaks to the people, dead people. 
something which we are against. Whatever I touch profit, it never stands. I had a two Hilux, I'm a contractor. I built some houses. I've, the people in Zambia, they owe me more than a million watches, which is close to about four, 500,000 US. They don't want to pay me. I sold my El Grand. I sold my Toyota Hilux. Come, I pray for you. But you bring your wife because this is different. In the name of Jesus, let it go. He's not receiving his deliverance. In Jesus' name. But the blood of Jesus began to multiply. Give me. They are always arguing with the wife, arguing with the wife. Nothing goes on well. Everything will go on well, but bring your wife. And of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm saved. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, men of God. Good morning, men of God. I'm Sister Miriam from Namibia. I'm so amazed. I never know. <laughs> This thing existed. When I was watching YouTube, I never know I will find myself. I keep on touching my body, whether I'm dreaming or is this real. Man of God, it's a rare grace. The power of Jesus Christ has touched this lady from Namibia. When you are watching the YouTube or whatever, is it? Oh. This is a very good drama. That is how they deceive people. Is it true you are the one falling down? Yes, I, I was telling someone yesterday that I hardly fall. She's falling again under the influence of the Holy Ghost power. Have your peace. Then we shall talk about the child issue. I would like to confirm the prophecy that you gave him, man of God, about the child. At the age of 23, I fall pregnant. He, he, he told me because he was going to church, he would take me to their church to go tell the pastor so we do the right thing. When he took me there, the pastor told him that I am a witch. He must stay away from me. From there, I, I was so in misery. I was homeless because even my brothers were told to stay away from me that I am a witch. So. I went to one woman, I told her my problem, and then said we should abort the pregnancy. And we did. Ever since then, again, my life, I don't understand my life up to now. I didn't see peace, I'm confused. I don't know what happened to me. I was very intelligent at school, that I could be school over a baseline. After that pregnancy, even in school, I'm struggling. I just want to remind you, your sandals. This sandal had two strings here. Yes, man of God, I remember the sandal. I have had a, a sandals that yes. have got the way I will pick. Ah, ah. Yes, it's true. This is where the problem came from, and this girl decided to take those sandals, do you still have them? No, man of God, I, do, I, I lost them, but I don't know how I lost them. Sit. You started feeling that somebody... Yes, <laughs> man of God. What is this? Yes. Who is pulling me? Yes, I used to have a, a nightmare, even when I'm a, I'm a nurse, and when I'm doing night shift, I could just see myself like some, something is pulling me on the legs, something is pulling me back and forth, and I, I will be afraid. And I didn't tell it to anybody. Even at home, I used to have this nightmare. It's true what you are saying, man of God. This can only be God. In February, I had a dream of you telling me, asking me about the child and asking me somebody pulling me back and forth that you could be far by now. You are real men of God. 
when I used to watch on YouTube every day, I used to watch every day, I used to watch and I'm asking myself, will this happen to me? Has it happened to you? Yes, man of God. Vana mibi ya bako tondara nzi nilombwe lekusha ileniko Uganda, ukuno mprofeti wa kalunga, mprofeti samwe kakande. Ini maisha ya tumonoko TV oyo shiri, keye shimwe shita ningo sho shiri. Iwo lekwa ishe ya kalunga, okwa holo wako kalungi, ileniko Uganda, ileni mwone manguluko, ileni mwone hupifu. 14.6 of John, Jesus is the truth. Jesus said to him, mm -hmm. I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. There is a sister here, or a woman here, you were given a half petty. The way you were given it was no good because of the pregnancy issue. Uh, come out for prayer. There's a lady who is coming forth from the congregation to confirm this prophecy for her deliverance. Let us listen to her. My name is Alice. It is me from Kenya. It is me the man of God has talked about. But it is long ago. I was pregnant, like three months. I was given a half pet coat and a purple dress. That dress was transparent, but I was somehow ignoring it. So she called me and told me, you come, take this pet coat, you wear it. Uh, she is a friend of mine. I still have that pet coat. And my child now is uh, like 12 years now. Yes, ever since I have never had a stable relationship, the person that I had that time left, it, uh, like three months, it brought total confusion. And then I interrupt the man of God telling me, come and deliver you. Even the way I'm here, even if you ask the coordinator, God, in that list, our coordinator knows there was one space that was left for like two, four, five days. No one is being found to enter in that space. Then I was called and I was asked, has Jesus come through for you? I said, not yet. I was told, prepare yourself, you are going to Kakande. Even now, when I call that number to thank that person, she's not picking. I don't know who that person was. Even ask our coordinator, she's there. She doesn't have any message of me paying for my trip here. I don't have. Me, I'm just here. Even I'm sharing God is my witness. So, what was the dream? I was watching my laptop. I was watching you. Mm -hmm. Immediately, I, I felt like dozing off. You said, come, and you are delivering me there. <laughs> there, there, that corner. You say, come and deliver you. And I was really a friend of you in that dream. And I had a baby in my back. And now you are talking about you are holding pregnancy. The <laughs> Man come, of come, God. come, come. <laughs> This is the disturbance in the mighty name Jesus. Petticoat, go in Jesus' holy name. Never a friend like Jesus. Never a problem solver like Christ Jesus. You're free. You would have been abroad by now, but because of whatever was done to you, you are still in Kenya. Father, we open the door for her to go abroad. Give me a hand. I think God knows us too much. Uh -huh. I dreamt you were sitting many people. And a white man was holding a manila paper, yellowish. Uh -huh. And the job description was there. Now you are talking about I'm prompt. <laughs> <laughs> kali, 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 kali. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The way you told me, come and deliver you. Ah, I thank God. God has his own connections. God be the glory. Oh, please give me one hundred thousand.
my daughter. Uh, your journey abroad. Thank you. Within these three years is open. Thank you, Jesus. This is a great miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody in your community will know that you have. Yes, yes, you yes. Have gone abroad. Yes, yes, yes. My sister dreamt that people in my community were calling me, come see that daughter of, they called my dad Konyi, that daughter of Konyi Mbirionea. They were saying that. My sister said that. Now, the, oh, now the connections of God, we don't know. It is only God who knows. He has done it. Thank you, Jesus. Love Jesus. God, in, because you, you don't know me. But I saw you saying, come and deliver you. Then I was put in the bus. Then I'm here. Now you say there is no you God. You already delivered. <laughs> it is God. <laughs> Even if you come late, your city is available without you. Nobody can take your place. Hey, I've also come so late, but my city is available. My fellow wealthy people, thank you for coming. <laughs> My name is Tina Kembo from Malawi. This man came, you rejected him, you tried to push him, you are not supposed, you are not supposed, please, you are not supposed, you please. You. This man destroyed your life. Prophet, what you are saying is true. I was denying him, he is not supposed to sleep with me, but he insisted and we slept. He slept with me. Ever since that time? That's Every, very true, man of God. Everything which was going on well. Man of God, what you are saying is true. Ever since I slept with this man, my finances, they are all scattered. I, I, I don't have a stable business. You started dreaming very bad. I always have weird dreams. And the stomach started doing some funny, funny things you don't understand. My stomach, it pains me, it... When it starts spinning, it's like if, like I'm in labor. Some other people are so cunning. They know who they are. They know what they can deposit in you. Mm -hmm -hmm. Not everybody say I'm your friend is a friend. We remove the problem now from you. You Amen. go, you do your business. Amen. You have your peace. Amen. Because you were a promising lady and you were developing. Yes, man Even of now, God. many chances are coming to you. Yes, man of but God. But they go back. Yes. Man of God, I just see Grace passing by. She's my sister. She's also struggling. Let me stamp out this problem before I go to your family. At the very. Yes, man of God. When we are going to my home village, mm. we, we pass by the valleys. <laughs> what you're saying is true, man of God. Because That's where my mom lives. Because I must go there. I must see where the problem... Yes, man of God. Hmm. That is the problem now. Once upon a time, this man entered your family, you people. Come. This is not the one. Come. This is a good man. My son is a good man. Abi Amum. Why I'm saying all this? Is it Sangoma? Sangomas, yes. My dad used to bring Sangomas. Several of them. My name is Rebecca Kembo from Malawi. Uh, prophet, in, I remember a man like that one you showed us here. Because my father was a politician. In fact, he passed away was a politician, so he used to bring someone like that man. The last Sangoma he brought in the house before he passed away, 
was the one who covered him whilst alive. He covered him with a, a white cloth and started putting some medications to say he will live long. After that, he didn't make it. He wasn't sick. He okay. passed away. Who? My father. Because of? Yeah, because of the Sangomas. He lied to him. He lied to him. He wasn't sick by that time. He was just doing those things to say you 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 have you live long. The is going on. For Sister Rebecca Kembo from Malawi. And also Sister Tina Kembo being delivered in Jesus' name. Pick up, pick up. In the name of Jesus. Devil go. In the name of Jesus. Devil go. Clap for Jesus for setting them free.